welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and as you can see from today's title, we're going to do a full book room tour breakdown. I'm so excited for this video because I've put a lot of effort into this room and making it exactly how I like it and it's just like my happy place. So I want to show you guys everything in this room, where I got it from, why it's there, all that sort of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this. A little backstory, I live with my girlfriend. We live together and this is our second bedroom. Whenever guests come, like my family, friends, anything like that they stay in this room so they're surrounded by books when they come here essentially but that's okay but we don't have guests here obviously most of the time so my girlfriend has let me make this room into my book room and it's just my happy place so I'm excited to kind of break it down for you guys and show you where everything's from and all of that I will link everything in the description as much as I can so you guys can have access to this stuff if you want any of it I think that's it so let's just get right on into it and I'm gonna show you guys my book room When you first walk into this room, this is kind of like a little overview of what it looks like. Here's a little overview of this shelf. So you're gonna notice around my room, I have a lot of Lego things and I do think they're super cute. That's why I have them. But my girlfriend is the one that does Lego. So all of the things that you see on here, I did not build except for one and I'll show you. This first one is The Little Mermaid. She got this set, it's so cute. If you're into Lego, I'm sure you'll appreciate this. So she made that and let me keep in this room because I love it. Then coming to this first shelf, I have all of my Love and Gelato books, this little series here. I've only read the first one. I still need to read Love and Olives and Love and Luck, but I think they look super cute. And then this little pink candle is just off of Amazon. It's like a bubble candle, but again, I'll link everything down below for you guys. We have two of my Lucy score books, which are signed, which is really cool. I met her recently and she signed both of these. So I have those. Then I just have some other romances. Again, I have some things like scattered throughout but a lot of romance on this shelf and then this little daisy duck lego is so cute i'm obsessed with her she's just the cutest i love her little bow if you know you know i wear a lot of bows so it fits me perfectly then moving down here i have a lot of memoirs actually i have a few books scattered throughout but a lot of these are memoirs if you've never read i'm glad my mom died it's one of my favorite books of all time i think everyone should read it it's written beautifully so i love that book but i love the way this shelf looks i think it's really cute then again we have have a lego and i actually built this one my girlfriend got it when she purchased something at lego this was like a freebie one that came with it it's just little flowers in a flower pot and plants so i thought that was really cute and i think it looks good in between my books and then i have my lc silver books here i'm missing one because it's on my tbr cart which you guys will see but there's miss lc silver then down here i have this little pink bin it's from urban outfitters i believe i believe two of these are from urban outfitters and then the others are from five below but i will let you know when i get to those and here i have a couple like self-help books that I don't really read but my girlfriend likes those and then these are actually her books right here the Stephanie Garber ones which I do want to get to eventually but I just have them stacked in there and then some other random books down below I love these little bins I think they split up bookshelves so nicely and you can fit obviously books inside of them so they look really cute and over here I have a bunch of other romance books just a ton of ones I've already read and some I haven't but a lot of these I actually have gotten through then moving down here I have all of the Colleen Hoover books I have. When I first started out reading, obviously a lot of people go to Colleen Hoover and that was me. So I have a ton of Colleen Hoover books there, which I've read all of those. And then again, just some other kind of random books I have scattered throughout here. And then right here is my red, white, and royal blue little shrine. This has a bookmark in it because my girlfriend has <laughs> been reading it because I told her she has to read it before the Amazon Prime movie comes out on August 11th, which I'm so excited about. I am like the biggest red, white, and royal blue fan. So that's my little shrine and I'm sure I'll add more eventually but those are the three I have right now and then down here I get a lot of questions about these bookends they're little strawberry bookends they were my best find ever I found them at home goods which I usually like miss all the time at home goods but I saw these and I'm like I have to have them and we went in there so randomly one time and found them so I'm very happy I did they're so adorable I love the little strawberries these are all of my lgbtq plus books I have some other ones on my tbr cart that you guys will see these are most of them and then obviously my 
my red, white, and royal blue ones right there. And then on the bottom of my two big Billy bookshelves, I just have books that are turned backwards. A lot of these are my girlfriend's books and I don't like love the way some of them look. So we've just turned them all backwards and she's okay with that. I think it just looks good at the bottom with all of these turned backwards. Then moving on over here, we have the guest bed right here. The actual bed frame is from Ikea. Again, I'll link it down below for you guys. It's pretty inexpensive and it's just like a nice white bed. Typically, I would have this like floral comforter on top that a lot of you guys ask questions about, but I don't have it on right now because it's actually on our bed in our like main bedroom. I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see it because I know a lot of you guys ask about it. It's from a company called Luca and Luna. Again, it will be linked down below, but it's really cute. They have the cutest comforter covers. So right now, I just have a white one on. This blanket and then the pink pillow right there are both from Target in the little girl section. That sounds so weird, but they have some cute stuff. I just love pink as you guys can tell. So this little blanket and that pillow are like a matching little set from the Target girls section. These two white big pillows behind it are from Target as well. They're just like these Sherpa pillows I got at Target. And then these sheets a lot of people ask about too. They're literally just from Amazon. They're just like cheap sheets off of Amazon, but they're so cute. And I think they just pull the bedroom together. So I love those. This little squiggle mirror is from Five Below. I got a lot of stuff recently at Five Below, which you guys will see throughout here. So cute. And I see these everywhere and they're so expensive, but this was literally at Five Below. So if you haven't ever been to Five Below, they kind of have some cute stuff in their home decor section. And then we have this wall right here, the frame. All of my frames are from Ikea. And then I already had this little picture. I will try to link it down below. I got it a long time ago, but I'm sure I can find it or at least something similar. I honestly want to do a gallery wall on this wall. I'm not sure if it would be too much with my bookshelves, if it would be too busy or not. So let me know your thoughts, but I think it'd be cute to do like a bunch of book prints. I thought, well, I have a bunch saved on Etsy that I want to get. So we'll see if I ever end up doing that. Then moving over to this bookshelf. Again, it's the Ikea Billy bookshelf. Same one as the one right over there. Starting at the top, I have nothing in that little bin right up there, but it's from Five Below. I don't really know what I'm going to put up there, but I just think it's cute anyway. These again are a bunch of romance books I have. Both of my huge bookshelves are filled with basically romance because that's most of what I read. This little disco ball is off of Amazon. I actually saw disco balls that were pink and blue recently at Five Below. If you're looking for something a little less expensive, but this wasn't too pricey. Then I have my Heartstopper books right here. I love, love, love this series if you've never read it. And they have a Netflix series that it's based off of. And season two just came out this past weekend. So I'm excited to watch that. Again, the little candle off of Amazon, just a little bubble candle that's white. Then moving down to this shelf, there's my Alani right there. These pink bookends, again, were from the Target little girl section. <laughs> Sounds so weird, but honestly where they're from. I got them like two or three years ago though, so I'm not sure if they are available, but I'm sure you can find something similar. Then I have a lot more romance books in this little section. And then this little pouch is adorable. I have no idea what's on it. Like I thought it was flowers, but then when you get closer, it's honestly like, what is that? I have no idea. This is just from Amazon. Inside of it is a bunch of highlighters and tabs and stuff for annotating books, which I honestly don't do often, but I do have everything in there if I ever want to do that. This little shelf is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. It has all of my Magnolia Parks books. There's one missing because it's on my TBR card over there. Originally, I ended up buying the first Magnolia Parks before she announced the new covers. When she announced the new covers, I wanted to get the rest of the series, but I could literally only find it off of Amazon. And I think these are like the UK versions because they're bigger. I do have all four books in this series. I just have them in like the bigger size, which is fine. I have another little Lego right up here. They're all throughout my bookshelf. I think they're really cute. This is one of my favorite parts. It is a mini bookshelf on my bookshelf and my girlfriend made this. She got the little mini bookshelf, I think off of Amazon and then painted it white. She ordered the little books off of Amazon and then got the print off of Etsy, I believe. And then she just put them all on the books. And they're some of my favorite books. She made this for me. So I love it with my whole heart. I think it's so adorable. And I have my Kindle, which I honestly don't read a ton off of my Kindle. I got this one for free. My dad literally sent it to me because he got it from something and then never used it. So I just got it for free. But I do love the way it looks. It's so cute. This little op socket is off of Etsy and then the stickers are random. I don't even know where they're from. But you can find a ton of book stickers on Etsy. I've seen so many people with really cute ones. Then over here, I have my Summer I Turn Pretty books with a little seashell. I just thought it was perfect for the setting of these books, obviously. This is the first ever Lego set I got my girlfriend that she 
became obsessed with Lego from. We have it in here just because it fits more with my stuff, but it's this little Vespa. It's really cute. It's a little baby blue color. Moving over here, we have all of the Aquatar series, which I've only read the first two, so I need to get going on that, but they look so pretty. I love the way they look. And then little Tinkerbell just chilling over here, so we love her. On this next shelf is my AirPod Maxes. The cases are from Wildflower Cases. This little stand, I honestly don't know where it's from. My friend Lucy got it for me, and she has the same one. This is from Five Below. I like it because it has different colors on each side, and then I have my L. Kennedy books right here. I love, love, love the Off Campus series, so I just have them displayed right there. And then over here is kind of random. I have three Emily Henry books, and then I have Once Upon a Broken Heart, which I haven't read, but there are those. And then again, Last Shelf just has a bunch of random books from my girlfriend and me that are just turned around. So that's what that shelf is. This is a random little cherry painting I did. This mirror is from Ikea. I love it so, so much. And at the bottom, I have this little faux fur shag. I honestly got this so, so long ago. I think I got it from Target, but I'm not sure. You can find these honestly anywhere. So I'll link one down below for you guys. This little basket is from Five Below. I just have a ton of editing stuff that I use. I have my laptop, my iPad, tripod, bookmarks, just random stuff I use. And then on my mirror, I have this tote bag from an event I went to called Summer Sizzle here in Ohio. It has Lucy Scores signature. We have B Celeste, Lily Chu, a ton of other ones on here. So that's really cute and special to me. So I hang that right there. Moving on to everyone's favorite part of my room basically is this chair. My parents actually got this chair for me for my birthday. It's from Wayfair, I believe. I know Sarah has the same one and a lot of people have this chair now. It's so comfy. It's just honestly the perfect reading chair. I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I read in it all the time, but I will link that for you guys below because I know a lot of you asked me about it. This little footstool is from Five Below. It's literally just like a blown up footstool and then the cover on top of it is also from Five Below. Five Below home decor is the best honestly so I love using that for my feet because I like need to put my feet somewhere. The blanket on my chair is from Amazon as well as this little heart pillow. I have an actual Barefoot Dreams blanket and this blanket is basically the exact same thing so I definitely recommend going for the Amazon version. This little print is off of Etsy. It's a custom some print. I will link the Etsy store I got it off of down below. She basically just had me send in all of my favorite books and then she did like a mock-up of this print and I printed it out and framed it in this little Ikea frame. So I love this print. I think it's adorable and this is probably my favorite corner in my room. Okay moving on to the last section of this room. At the top of this bookshelf I have painting that my girlfriend did. She painted a ton of my favorite books and it's so good. I honestly could not do anything like that but she just hand painted all that so that's kind of crazy this is another billy bookshelf but it's like half the size of the other ones so it kind of fits perfectly in this little corner this is basically my thriller shelf then we come to this shelf and i have a little reading journal from a company called Air. i'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it but i'll link it for you guys down below this section is my tbr for august and then this was the little thing i used in my tbr jar basically because i didn't have a jar at the time so we used that little barbie thing but these are the books that I have kind of lined up for August and I've already read one of them so that's exciting. Down to this shelf we have some Harry Potter books. These are my girlfriend's because she loves Harry Potter and she has all the other ones but they're downstairs in her office so that's why I only have a few of them here but I think they're so pretty and I love the covers of these. On this last shelf I have a bunch of classics. Again these are my girlfriend's. I didn't buy the classics but we just display them here and they're really pretty so it's kind of cool to have all these classic books right there. The very last section of my room is this TBR cart. This print again, I'm not exactly sure where I got it, but I will link it for you guys once I find it. I got it a couple years ago, but I've seen it other places, so I'm sure I can find a link for it. Frame is from Ikea. This is my little TBR cart that I have. At the top here, we have these Legos. My girlfriend made them for me, and then she put them in an actual vase that we have because they would not stand up. She put them in a vase with other random Lego pieces surrounded by it, so I think it's really cute, and I love the flowers. This little lamp here is from Target. I got it quite a long time ago, but if I find it, I'll link it for you guys. And I just have a bunch of my TBR books, books that I'm planning on reading soon. So that's all of that. This little candle is from a candle company called Lit Candle Supply. And yeah, there's what it says, but I think they're really cute. Last but not least, I have this little Love Wins from Home Goods. It's a sign that lights up. It's neon and I really like it. And then the actual pink TBR card I got is just from Amazon. And I just put it together and it's super cute and I 
love the way it looks. But that was a full breakdown of my book room. I know that was a lot, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I'll try to link as much as I can down below if you're interested in buying any of the things that I have. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love this room with my whole heart, and it just brings me a lot of joy and happiness. I feel at home and at peace, and I love it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.